Good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 621. I think I just say 621, it's easier than just saying all the stuff. Anyway, the topic today, because in two days, in two days is Valentine's Day, is what do you want? Or what do you want, depending on the emphasis, for Valentine's Day? And I'm going to break that down in a second and give you more insight, at least I hope so. Um, before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help women and some men find balance, create balance in love, life, and business. I'm definitely a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is what started these talks in the first place, um, just over two years ago. And these are talks I've done every day now for a while, which is why I'm up to 621, and they're called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today, because it is this week of Valentine's Day, I'm doing another talk about Valentine's Day. And in case you didn't know, two days ago I did a, relation, a, a talk about Valentine's Day for couples and the risk of heartbreak. And then yesterday I did a talk about Valentine's Day for singles, but I had to get through the day in grace and ease. So those two you might want to reflect on if you're single or in a relationship. Today, I'm putting out the question about what do you want for Valentine's Day? Because for some people, what they want is for it to be over. Because <laughs> some people hate the uh, contra contravision. Oops. Sorry, I just got something popped up on my screen. That shouldn't happen. I've got Do Not Disturb one. Anyway, um, so that's why I want to talk more about that and, and perhaps give you some insights, maybe even some technical questions if you have some ideas, thoughts, or desires about Valentine's Day that maybe I can help you clarify and understand and focus on. So, by the way, this is Facebook Live in case you haven't seen me before. If you're watching me on YouTube, that's a replay. So, Facebook Live first, then YouTube, and I'll give you the links for those at the end of the broadcast. And as I said, I do this every day. Um, did I cover everything? Yes, I did. So, episode number 621. What do you want for Valentine's Day? Or, what do you want for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Play with the emphasis there. Because as I said, quite a few people I know um, hate Valentine's Day. One, because for some people, Valentine's Day is a reminder of bad relationship experiences in the past. Um, and I did mention this, say, two days ago when about couples where relationship, relationship can be, relationships can be challenged on Valentine's Day because of the pressure put on each, each person to deliver something that the other person hasn't said anything about. It's this mystery thing where, anyway, I'm not going to recap that if you watch the other broadcast. That was number 619. And this is, 6, this is 621, so that was two days ago. So for some people, being done with Valentine's Day, for being it Friday already, is a very um, direct focus. They want to get through it, get over it, and get past it. For other people, they would wish Valentine's Day was every day of the year, just to put the other extreme on the table. And frankly, that was kind of my point in both my broadcasts yesterday and the day before, is how Valentine's Day is purported to be this amazing day of romance and Cupid and hearts and love and chocolates and everything else, whereas the rest of the year isn't, which is odd, to say the least. And if you know me, you know more about my work. I talk about love and relationships every day. So for me, it is every day of the year, just in my work, if nothing else. I'm not going there. So my invitation to you to look at for yourself is, what is it you would like to have on Valentine's Day? Whether you're single or in a relationship, whether you hate it or love it. Because in some ways, Valentine's Day is just another day. But what happens is we become, I won't say receptive, but we become very distracted by what happens around us. So if you work in an office, I can pretty much guarantee, unless you work in an office and nobody else around, that you're going to have, you're going to experience Valentine's Day um, paraphernalia and Valentine's Day accessories <laughs> on that day. Because on Valentine's Day, chocolates show up, there's people putting around little hearts and flowers and balloons and stuff show up around the day. And you may be in an office where it's an open floor plan, for example, and there are 25, 30 people out there, and some people are receiving bunches of balloons and bouquets of flowers at their desks, and other people aren't. And there's this interesting um, unevenness to the people experiencing Valentine's Day in a place like that, because some people are in a relationship, some people are not. Some people are in a relationship where the, ex, um, the overt um, expression of romance is not done, so they don't see that showing up in their office. 
so Valentine's Day can be very challenging for people when there's an imbalance or, or a comparison, that's the word, comparison going on with somebody else because they're getting all their um, Valentine's Day's expressions and you're not, for example. Now, let me just take down the, um, the curtain for a moment. Some people are in relationships where Valentine's Day is the only day of the year where there's love and affection shared. Yes, there are people like that. And in fact, the expression of gifts, which is the flowers and the, and the, and the well, excuse me, the roses, because it should be roses on Valentine's Day, and the chocolates and the balloons happens on Valentine's Day to make up for an aberration or a, a litany of mistakes that the person made for the previous two months or week or years. So you may be looking at that and going, how unfair, they got that and I didn't, or how they got that and somebody else didn't. You don't really know what the story is behind the picture. So a little coaching here, suggestion is, whatever happens to other people on Valentine's Day, don't get upset. If you're single and you're feeling a bit left out, you don't have to. First of all, again, you don't know what the reason for those things were to live in the first place. Yes, it's Valentine's Day, but maybe there was another reason to apologize for some misdemeanor the other person did in that relationship. You don't know. So if you're feeling that you're not getting what you want on Valentine's Day, and here's the, here's the key, here's, the, here's the, the punchline, give it to yourself. If you're feeling like you wish someone would give you chocolates and there's nobody doing it, go buy yourself some. Or maybe you can fawn off somebody else. I'm not recommending that as an option, but I would say go and get yourself some. If you don't, if you, in fact, I would recommend this. If you want to have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day, whether you're in a relationship or not, do some things for yourself tomorrow because tomorrow's the day before Valentine's Day. Go buy yourself some flowers, if you want flowers. Roses, especially if you want roses. Go get yourself some chocolates, if you feel like you want to eat some chocolates. Um, book a table at a nice restaurant for yourself. I would say, actually, okay, let, let, me, let me rewind that slightly, because I talked about this a couple of days ago, about how one of my pet peeves about Valentine's Day is it's, it's an excuse for, um, well, an, a, a massive propaganda marketing by Hallmark, but also how a lot of restaurants put the prices up and also the price of flowers goes up. You may have noticed that when you go to the florist, a dozen roses on um, the, the 14th of February is five times the price of the price of ro a dozen roses on the 15th of February. So some things you may not want to see buy on Valentine's Day or around it because of the fact you're putting a, paying a premium for something that really isn't really that important when you think about the fact you can do it any time. And this is the thing I want to talk about as well. Valentine's Day is one day a year. There's 365, if it's a leap year, or 364 other days that are much more um, convenient to actually express, share, and enjoy love and romance besides Valentine's Day. And if you're in a relationship, ideally that's what's happening for you. If it's not, you may want to have a conversation with your partner. And if you're single, doesn't mean you can't do it yourself. I guess in a way I've just given you cliff notes for the last two broadcasts. Okay, so Valentine's Day as an event sometimes is overhyped, to say the least. As a friend of mine who was watching, I think today, she said yet, uh, yesterday that she's going to have pizza and pizza and Netflix on Valentine's Day, which is a genius idea because why not? Because this, to make Valentine's Day something special, frankly, was really something created by Hallmark amongst other companies, and. Even though I'm a love relationship coach and expert and talk, speaking all about this stuff, Valentine's Day is no big deal to me, ultimately. Yes, there's a romantic overtone to it that's been infused into the, the culture because of Hallmark and other people. But I would say take that feeling, that flame, that, that flavor of, of romance, of love, of up-level passion, and apply it throughout the whole year. Don't just sit on it for one day, because that is pointless actually it's not it's not pointless as much as it's always it doesn't make sense valentine's day is a reminder to love yourself and to love each other every day of the year that's the only thing i would use it for personally that's the only thing i'm talking about it's not about um the only day of the year to have chocolates thank god because i love chocolate <laughs> it's also not, not the only day of the year to get red roses because roses would be dying the rest of the year it would be not being used so of course the Accessories, the gifts and the accoutrements of Valentine's Day are not limited just to Valentine's Day. Even Cupid 
which is a fictitious cherub with a, I mean, who imagined a, you know, a little cherub with a bow and arrow with little, bit, little bitty, bitty wings would be flying around making love work for everybody? That just doesn't make sense. I know it's a romantic um, <laughs> illusion, delusion, but still. So my point about that is really taking the idea of Valentine's Day and spreading that through the whole year and making your own life more filled with love, with romance, with joy, with celebration, with your intimate partner, with your friends, with yourself especially. Again, if you're single, there's no excuse not to feel romantic and loving. You can do that with yourself anytime. Because you deserve, we deserve, love and relationship in all our lives, whether or not we have a partner. Because partnership is only making it easier to share that back and forward. It is not required that you have that. So if you're single, it doesn't mean you have to stop. You can't go around sh uh, hanging your head in shame on Valentine's Day. That's another thing, by the way. Let me talk about that for a second. This, this pisses me off, <laughs> sort of, kind of, is that when um, Valentine's Day happens and those people who are single somehow have to carry this whole weight of shame about because they're not in a relationship. There's an assumption about this that being in a relationship is better than being single. And as a relationship coach, I'm going to say this right out now. There is no one up, one down on this. Being in a relationship or being not in a relationship, neither one is better and neither one is worse. There are differences. And for some people, there's this rule in the head that until you're in a relationship, you're losing. And there are other people I know <laughs> who've realized that once they got divorced, they were much happier being single than they were in a relationship. So, so that's both sides of the conversation. And my point is very really simple about this is being in a relationship or not being in a relationship both are valid, both are equal. Yes, being in relationships is going to be an opportunity to do some work, but so is being single. So the single relationship thing on Valentine's Day, to use that as the anchor of the market for this, is simply a data point. It does not mean that people on Valentine's Day have more uh, freedom to do things because they're in a relationship than those who are single, for example. It also means that on Valentine's Day is not the time to start kicking yourself for not being in a relationship. In fact, it might be the best day to celebrate your freedom for not being in a relationship on Valentine's Day. To remind, to remind yourself that choosing a relationship is a conscious choice, not a desperate move to make yourself feel less lonely. That's another topic, and I've talked about that one before as well. I think that really sums up my point about this. Um, again, Valentine's Day is in two days, so there's definitely um, <laughs> more, more to talk about, I'm sure. There may be one for tomorrow, we'll see. Um, this is the third one in a row that's happened, so in case you haven't seen my broadcast recently, um, yesterday's was about being single on Valentine's Day, and the one two days ago was about being in a couple on Valentine's Day and how that can work for and against you depending on how you do it. So if you're in one of those two boats, which you probably are, watch the relevant, relevant videos. That was this is 621, so that was 619 and 620 Facebook Lives, and also on YouTube, so I'll give the replays. By the way, I'll give you the replays for those. Oh, one other thing. Um, how do I do this? Yes, okay. So I've been, pros I've been promoting and sharing a couple of things during these talks because it is Valentine's Day. I've got to use the excuse to market some things. Um, if you are feeling that loving yourself more is something you can do more, you can use more practice with, I have a self-love guided meditation that I offer on my website. I'll put the link in the comments so you can get that and start building your own self-love cycling for yourself so you can feel better about yourself as well. Um, I'll also put a link in the comments for a discovery session because some of you are looking for love and having some challenges. And Valentine's Day is simply showing you more contrast about that, not, not making you feel happier. So then you can just reach out for support. So I'll put the link in the comments for that. Um, That'll do. I'm looking for other things can be for other times. There's nothing that feels relevant to put out today. So with that, I thank you for watching. This is my Facebook live video every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you've seen me before, great. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is where you find me on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my personal page on Facebook. Sorry, it goes to my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. Then I put them onto my YouTube channel, which you may be watching this here. And YouTube is my YouTube channel is Barry Selby. All my social media is my name, Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine, where all of these live. You can watch all of those anytime you wish. And I'm also building out a podcast, which I haven't done much with for a while, but it's out there, which is also on, called Messages from the Masculine. This time it's on iTunes. And if you subscribe to the channel, 
or excuse me, subscribe to the podcast and download the audio tracks if you wish. Um, if you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off, whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook. And if you want help, I'll have some links in the comments that may assist you. I appreciate you being with me as always. Um, if you don't, see my broadcast tomorrow. Take care of yourself on Valentine's Day especially. And take care of yourself every day as well. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, we'll see what else is up. Enjoy. I'll see you soon. Bye.